In a land where the sky touches the earth, where the wind howls through endless grasslands, and where survival is a daily struggle, a legend was born. Welcome to the untamed world of Genghis Khan. Our story begins in the heart of the Mongolian steppes, a land as fierce and unforgiving as the people who call it home. It is here, in the early 12th century, that a boy named Temujin came into the world. Born into a family of nomadic herders, his life was marked by the unrelenting challenges of the steppes. Winters were brutal, food was scarce, and survival was a daily battle. The young Temujin learned early on that in this unforgiving land, one had to be strong, resilient, and resourceful. But it wasn't just the harsh environment that shaped Temujin's early life. The Mongolian steppes were a land of tribal rivalries, where feuds and conflicts were a way of life. Temujin's father, a respected leader within their clan, imparted valuable lessons to his children. He taught them the importance of unity, honor, and the strength of a united family. And so, from a young age, Temujin was instilled with a burning desire to overcome adversity, unite his people, and rise above the challenges that the steppes presented. In the vast expanse of the Mongolian steppes, life could be unforgiving, and the bonds of family were everything. But for young Temujin, the trials of life were about to become unimaginably harsh. Temujin's father, Yasujiai, was a respected leader among the Mongols, known for his wisdom and strength. But as the night grew darker, a shadowy figure approached, seeking vengeance for a long-standing blood feud. Yasujiai, the protector of his family, was brutally murdered, poisoned by an enemy seeking revenge. The loss was devastating. Temujin, still a boy, faced a harsh reality, his father's death would plunge their family into years of hardship. The tribe, fearing the blood feud's repercussions, cast Temujin's family aside, leaving them to fend for themselves in the unforgiving wilderness. But young Temujin was not one to succumb to despair. With unwavering determination, he took on the responsibility of caring for his family. Temujin became a skilled hunter, learning the ways of the land, and ensuring his family's survival. His resilience and strength inspired his siblings, and they united in their struggle for survival. Temujin knew that to reunite his clan and seek justice for his father, he needed allies. He ventured to neighboring tribes, seeking support. His charisma and determination won the respect of tribal leaders, and alliances were forged. Temujin's quest for justice led to fierce battles, as he pursued those responsible for his father's death. In the unforgiving world of the Mongolian steppes, where tribes clashed and alliances were as fleeting as the wind, a young Temujin embarked on a journey that would shape the course of history. Temujin's path to power was marked by strategic alliances, none more critical than his friendship with Jamukha, a warrior of unparalleled skill. Their bond was sealed with a solemn oath, a pledge to stand by each other's side, and unite the Mongol tribes. But Temujin's path to power also led him down a different, personal path. He married Borte, a union that would have profound consequences. Yet, the early years of their marriage were fraught with hardship. The harsh Mongolian steppes did not spare even the Khan's family. Tragedy struck when Borte was abducted by a rival tribe, throwing Temujin into a whirlwind of despair and determination. In the face of adversity, Temujin showed unmatched resolve. He rallied his loyal followers, promising to reunite his family and seek justice. The rescue mission was perilous, marked by fierce battles and moments of uncertainty. But Temujin's determination knew no bounds. After facing countless trials, Temujin and Borte were finally reunited, their love and resilience stronger than ever. With his family back together, Temujin turned his attention to a grander goal, uniting the fractured Mongol clans. His diplomacy was as formidable as his sword. Temujin forged alliances with tribe after tribe, uniting the Mongols under a common banner. The culmination of his efforts came when he was crowned Genghis Khan, the leader of a united Mongol nation. The Mongolian steppes, a land of vastness and division, stood witness to a remarkable transformation as a visionary leader emerged from the chaos, with a dream that would change the course of history. Temujin, now known as Genghis Khan, rose to the title of Khan through a combination of charisma, cunning, 
and sheer determination. His vision was clear, to unite the disparate Mongol tribes into a single, unstoppable force. Genghis Khan was a master diplomat. He negotiated alliances, won over tribal leaders, and built a coalition that transcended old rivalries. But unifying the Mongols was not merely a diplomatic endeavor. It was a task that required military prowess and strategic brilliance. Genghis Khan was a strategic genius. He devised innovative military tactics that would change the face of warfare. The Battle of Kok River was a turning point. Genghis Khan's forces, though outnumbered, secured a decisive victory, further solidifying his authority. With each conquest, Genghis Khan's territory expanded, and more tribes willingly or reluctantly joined his cause. Genghis Khan understood the power of unity. He fostered a sense of shared Mongol identity, transcending tribal divisions. The unity that Genghis Khan forged among the Mongols would become the foundation of an empire that stretched from Asia to Europe. As Genghis Khan's empire expanded, he proved to be not just a conqueror, but a wise and just ruler, implementing innovative policies and promoting trade and cultural exchanges. The legacy of Genghis Khan endures through the ages, with the Mongol Empire facilitating the exchange of goods, knowledge, and cultures along the Silk Road. As Genghis Khan ascended to the throne of the Mongol Empire, his relentless ambition and strategic genius ignited a series of campaigns that would reshape the world. Genghis Khan, a visionary leader, set his sights on conquering the known world. His charismatic leadership inspired unwavering loyalty among his warriors. The Mongol Empire expanded like wildfire, swallowing kingdoms and empires, as Genghis Khan's forces relentlessly pushed their boundaries. Genghis Khan's campaigns were marked by meticulous planning and innovative military tactics. The Mongol cavalry, famed for their horse archery, was a formidable force, capable of raining down arrows on their enemies with unparalleled accuracy. In the siege of Nishapur, Genghis Khan employed psychological warfare, using captured citizens as human shields to demoralize the defenders. The Battle of Kalka River showcased Genghis Khan's brilliant use of feigned retreat tactics, luring the enemy into a trap. Genghis Khan was not just a conqueror, he was a shrewd statesman. He often offered defeated enemy leaders positions of power within his administration, fostering unity. Genghis Khan's empire was more than just a conquest. He built an intricate network of roads, trade routes, and cultural exchanges that spanned continents. Genghis Khan embraced religious tolerance, allowing diverse beliefs to coexist within his empire, fostering a sense of unity among his subjects. Genghis Khan's legacy extended far beyond his lifetime. The Mongol Empire reached its zenith, connecting East and West in ways never before imagined. In his final moments, Genghis Khan was surrounded by loyal followers who continued to uphold his vision. Genghis Khan's empire, born from the steppes of Mongolia, was not just a conquest. It was a catalyst that reshaped the world, leaving an indelible legacy. One of the most profound impacts of the Mongol Empire was on trade and cultural exchanges. The Silk Road flourished as Mongol rule brought stability and security to these ancient trade routes. The exchange of goods, knowledge, and ideas reached unprecedented levels. Silk, spices, art, and innovations flowed freely between East and West. The Mongol Empire became a melting pot of cultures, where scholars, philosophers, and artisans from diverse backgrounds converged. The impact of this cultural exchange was felt in every aspect of life, from architecture and clothing to cuisine and language. One of the most significant legacies was the spread of papermaking techniques. This innovation revolutionized the dissemination of knowledge and paved the way for the Renaissance. Genghis Khan's empire was marked by religious tolerance. Believers of different faiths were not just allowed but respected, fostering an atmosphere of coexistence. The Mongols made remarkable contributions to fields like astronomy and science, laying the groundwork for future discoveries. The legacy of the Mongol Empire is enduring. Its influence can be seen in the foundations of the modern world. Scholars and historians continue to study the Mongol Empire, 
seeking to unravel the secrets of its rise and the enduring effects it had on human civilization. Today, the footprint of the Mongol Empire can be traced in the modern cities and landmarks that once thrived under its rule. Genghis Khan's legacy lives on in the hearts of those inspired by his vision of unity, cultural exchange, and progress. As the sun set on the mighty Mongol Empire, it marked the beginning of the final chapter in the life of the great conqueror, Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan had spent a lifetime expanding his empire, forging an unrivaled legacy as a conqueror and visionary leader. But even the mightiest must succumb to the passage of time. Genghis Khan's death left a void that could never be filled. In the wake of his passing, his sons and heirs gathered to decide the fate of the vast Mongol Empire. The empire was divided among his sons, each receiving a portion of the once united realm. The decline had begun. Internal conflicts and external pressures chipped away at the unity and power of the Mongol Empire. The empire fragmented into separate khanates, each ruled by a descendant of Genghis Khan, and regional identities began to emerge. The Battle of Ain Jalut, a pivotal moment in history, marked the first major defeat of the Mongol Empire at the hands of the Mamluks. The decline of the Mongol Empire was inevitable, as it struggled to maintain its once unmatched dominance. Yet, even as the empire faded, its legacy lived on in the hearts and memories of its people. In the heart of the vast Mongolian steppes, a legend was born. The extraordinary life journey of Genghis Khan, a figure who would leave an indelible mark on history, is one that defies the imagination. From the humble beginnings of a young Temujin, marked by hardship and tragedy, emerged a leader of unparalleled vision and determination. His journey was one of conquest, diplomacy, and empire building. Genghis Khan united the fractious Mongol tribes and forged an empire that spanned continents. He was a military genius, his tactical brilliance earning him victories that astounded the world. But his legacy extended far beyond the battlefield. The Silk Road thrived under his rule, and religious tolerance was a hallmark of his empire. Genghis Khan was not just a conqueror, he was a statesman who understood the power of unity and the value of knowledge. As the sun set on his remarkable life, his empire was divided among his sons, marking the beginning of a new era. The once mighty Mongol Empire declined, fragmented, and eventually faded into history. But the legend of Genghis Khan endured, his name finding its place in books, films, and references in pop culture. Today, Mongolia stands as a vibrant nation, embracing its historical roots and honoring the legacy of Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan, the legendary conqueror and visionary leader, continues to inspire and captivate our imagination. His influence resonates through the ages, a testament to the enduring power of one man's extraordinary journey. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.